Hi, Julie. I don't hear you for some reason. Oh, maybe it's me. Anyway, here we are Sunday. Um, um, boy, we got a good show coming on and um, um, we got a boy. We got a beautiful girl coming up first and and um, then we're going to bring up a boy that uh, his foster couldn't be here. So we're going to cover. OK, and um, hopefully Judy's got audio or Julie's got audio to where she can help cover, because if not, I'll just sit here and stutter and slobber for you. OK, and um, but the re we're, we was going to bring Judy up second at Pure Rescue and Sanctuary. But Maverick had a question. He wants to know what a Colorado walkabout is. And um, well, the Pure Rescue and Sanctuary in Colorado, they're going to explain to us what a Colorado walkabout is. Um, so if Judy, if Julie will say something, we'll see if we can hear her. Yep. She's not going to speak. She must not be able to hear us. No, we don't hear her either. So, um, okay. She gives us thumbs up. So, um, I don't know what happened to her, her, um, setup here, but she'll figure it out. She's pretty sharp when it comes to that. If she says test one, two, three, you'll understand. So in the meantime, we're going to move forward. Um, whether we can hear Julie or not, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing here. If I keep running my mouth, it'll be a bad thing. But uh, <laughs> so um, this next girl, we got a little girl coming up that is just so adorable. And uh, uh, and her little uh, video will, will show you just that. I didn't think that video would ever end. I wanted to see Lilac live. Hi, Anna. Um, oh, you're muted. I, uh, boop, boop, that shouldn't be like that. You muted yourself. You'll have to unmute yourself. Sorry about that. Julie, say hi. See if we can hear you. Oh. Wow, everybody left. Okay. Well, let's, um, there can we go. I don't know what just took place. All right. So, um, Let's get it back. Okay. If we leave controls alone, we should be all right. So you have Miss Lilac, huh, Anna? Yes. Can you uh, hear us? Oh, yeah. We can hear you just yeah. fine. How old is that this little is girl? Lilac. How old is she? She's 10 months. 10 months old. Yeah. I got to meet her down when I was down at the GPRS headquarters back in November. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, mm -hmm. She's such a girl. Now, um, uh, Julie's down there, and uh, we're going to try this again. And um, but anyway, 
So is she available for adoption? Yes, she is. Okay. And um, didn't, she had a meet and greet yesterday, or she met somebody yesterday, but they were looking just browsing. Is that correct? Yeah. I How did she display so. herself? Pretty well? Well, she was a little bit shy yesterday. She wasn't herself. Okay. So she was typical dog, right? Yep. All right. Um, I'll tell you what. This is the sweetest. I mean, isn't she adorable? <laughs> and um, and I even uh, did something. Um, I took one of her pictures and put her out in the desert. Um just for oh. the heck of it, but uh, she looked lonely, so we didn't we didn't leave that up. <laughs> but what can you tell me about that picture? Were you ever able to get a bigger doggy door for her? <laughs> so we don't have a doggy door at home, but I took her to a friend who has a doggy door. Ah, and she figured out like instantly. We didn't have to teach her. She just followed the other dog, and she was right. so brave, and she pretty liked it. Okay. In the video, we saw um, uh, her around a cat. How does that go? Yes. So, so she was pretty uncomfortable when she first came to our house with cat. And it took like three weeks to a month to be able to feel comfortable. But now she's okay. Okay. You can trust and, her. Um, so she could go either way, probably? Yeah. Uh, it Depends on cats, I say. Our okay. cat is pretty chill and like doesn't bother. Your cat was dogs. cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Um, I've got her bio here. I'm gonna ask you a couple questions off of it. How's that? And um, sure. because I didn't expect Julie to be silent today, <laughs> unusual. But in, I'm gonna get myself hurt. You know that. Um, <laughs> so um, now. If you had to pick the perfect home for her, what kind of home would that be? Okay, she needs a yard, that's for sure. Um, active family would be great. She likes to go on a long walk or a hike. Oh, I think we saw that. Yeah. <laughs> um, is that related to She's the She's not a runner. Like that? Is, is that related? Oh, yeah. <laughs> And you can give and... her a bath yourself? <laughs> Boy, look at her. She's just melting in you. Yeah, she's pretty tired. She had a good uh, play in the morning. Okay. So an active family would be good for her then, right? Yeah. But she and would she's need a pretty mentor. playful, so she needs a dog who can play yeah. with her. Good. Now, has um, is there any thing that um, you would say wouldn't be good in a new home? Can you repeat the question again? Or is there something that would not be good in a good home? I mean, in a new home. Okay. Um, I don't want to put you on the spot. I'm not sure if how so she's good with everything just about. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Good. What does she get in trouble for? Or does she? We have a run on perfect peers at GPRS lately. <laughs> <laughs> um, she digs sometimes. Okay. She's um, a digger. What about the what about the strangers on the wall that she barks at? You know the TV. How she? Yeah, doing? she figured it out. She was barking at every single person on TV for the first few days, but she uh -huh. learned. Not to bark okay. on that. <laughs> and you got her, uh, now you got her straight from headquarters, didn't you? Yes. All right. Because um, I think I was there. I think she's the one I was holding on the leash while they were um, putting dogs onto the transport vehicle. And her and I got mm -hmm. a little chit chat. We got to know each other a little bit. She's a smart little girl. Yeah. She's a very intelligent dog. And yes, she is. She's her age. Now, is she finished? Uh, how does she do? Does she have, uh, how's she doing on accidents in the house? Is she okay there now? Yeah, she's 100% potty trained, I can okay. say. Um, she was pretty terrible when we got her, but she... Like she had never was, been in a house, probably. Yeah, probably. Okay. And she didn't like 
being in a crate either. So it was a lot of work, but she okay. was very tree motivated and learned so fast. Good, good. And and that went and she's smart. That's the key to this. She's very smart. But yes. just like any dog coming into a new home, patience <laughs> is the key here. All right. You gotta give them some time. And um, and that's what you guys do as fosters. So um, yep. uh, Ju Julie's probably biting at the chip or, or, or chomping at the whatever. Oh, you messaging me or something? I don't see anything from you. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's no point in lip syncing because I don't understand it. Um, so log in on your phone, Julie. Do that. And maybe we don't hear you, though. Log out of your laptop, log into your phone. Let's do that. So we, we just might get her ear yet. So what we're going to do, uh, Anna, it's uh, greatpyrenewsrescuesociety.org. That's where you go to apply for lilac. And she's yes. you're now you're in Washington, up there by Seattle somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, so I don't see any snow outside your window. No. Has she snow. ever seen snow? Yeah, she did. She liked it. She was she? eating ice. <laughs> All right. Now, old Maverick, who's coming up next, he's never seen snow. Well, make no mistake, Colorado folks will, will fix him up with that. They had a bad one here the other day. Um, they, um, um, that's how the walkabout came about. So, anyway. All right. Well, hopefully Julie gets back in here and because she's supposed to cover Maverick for us. There, uh, oh, that's uh, that's our camera person in Colorado. But now, um, um, what when uh, what's the uh, what what kind of fence do you think she would need? Lilac. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, Lilac. um, she is not an escaper. She doesn't jump up, so I would say it's like five to six feet would be enough. Okay. Okay. Um, so, okay. So, all right. Great Pyrenees Rescue Society dot org. Um, well, that's where you go. That's what's happening. That's where it's happening. Um, so, hang on just a second here. Um, we need a producer. Anybody ready? Uh, come up and produce this show. Um, that way, um, maybe next time Julie will come on here so we can test this before the show starts. <laughs> And we don't have this problem, right? So anyway, um, oh yeah, Sharon. She uh, uh, kudos to GPRS in Spring, Texas. Lilac is a sweetie. You should uh, get down there and volunteer sometime there, Sharon. They would love to have you. But um, anyway, so as soon as I see Julie come back in, uh, uh, we're going to get rolling. So I'm going to move us over to the side. We're going to uh, oops, not zoom us in. I did the opposite. So we're going to, um, well, we're going to start with our next boy, the one that's curious about what the Colorado walkabout is. And he's got a video, too.
Hi, Julie. Say something. Hi, can you hear me? Oh, thank God. Woo oh, boy, I'll tell you what, I've been struggling here. You know, um, uh, people would pay good money for not to be able to hear me, so. <laughs> okay. But Hi, too Julie. bad. I so, okay, well, while you're here, I'm going to bring Lilac back up. Do you have anything or questions or anything? You know, I yeah, I I also have got to meet Lilac twice, and uh, she was I thought she was amazing yesterday, Anna. She was, con you know, calm and confident, and you know, being in a new situation with three other female peers. You know, uh, she I thought she did just great. You know, and. Uh, the other thing too, people were coming up and um, what you know that were walking along there with other dogs and stuff. She mm -hmm. wasn't reactive to the other dogs. She um, let other people come up and pet her. You know, she just did. She was wonderful. Yeah, That's she true. does great on leash. Like I, you don't have to teach her. Yeah. Be Becky wants to know if there's any puppy chewing on any inappropriate things. Um, I think she got over it. She was doing appropriate things at our home, but like I don't see her doing that recently for like past three weeks or so. Well, right at the top of her bio, it says how much she likes belly rubs, and you're kind of proving it to us here. <laughs> <laughs> um, she is cute. So look at that. She's uh, her her needle teeth are gone. Her chewing stage is almost over. Well, you yeah. guys are really on a roll on those perfect peers, aren't you? Yeah. She's, it's perfect timing to adopt her, I think. Timing's right. Great Pyrenees Rescue Society.org. That's where you go. So now if we wait too long, we'll have to play um, um, Maverick's video all over again because everybody's going to forget about him. So we'll just go like this because we're going to be bringing judy up because she's going to help us because maverick had a burning question he wanted to know what a colorado walkabout was so and he'd never seen snow so judy's going to kill two birds with one stone for us um i've got maverick's bio here okay now maverick is a special boy he came in in december of 2021 and um and he um well, he, uh, let me see, let me get him up here. There he is. Yeah. There's how you met him. He had to be trapped. Right. Okay. So, um, and, um, and his foster LD has just done amazing work with him, but it's taken time. And she took the time. Okay. And um, how much do you know about him, uh, Julie? I think you've been in contact with him. Yeah, I, uh, I I had followed him along with everybody else. Apparently, he had been living under a trailer um, for a couple years. In fact, at a at a um, like a construction site or something. And I think that people there were just highly concerned about him, um, although they had been feeding him and doing their best with him. Um, and then it was the duck team six, who is like a, uh, yeah, a the trappers, a, a trapper, professional, out, professional. Uh, right out of Dallas, Texas area that came in and, and got him. And so, uh, he, uh, he, you know, uh, like you said, LD has taken some time. Looks like he is, uh, wants to be an only dog. Um, okay. And, and no cats is looking like he's overly interested is what I've heard. Right. I think he, I read that he, he barks at them and other oh, dogs. Okay. So he would be That's best right. with, uh, with yeah. the, as an only dog, older children, they said. Mm -hmm. um, but he sure and he's suspicious. Them. Okay. He's been on his own a long time and he's right. still suspicious and the breed's suspicious anyway. He looks more Akbosh to me, um, which really irrelevant, but... Um, but he's with Great Pyrenees Rescue Society, so he's got to be a Great Pyrenees, right? Um, but uh, and it doesn't matter. But the Akbash is more calm typically than a Great Pyrenees. They're more laid back, and um, so. But he's a man. I tell you, that's one. The transformation has been amazing because it's been slow and steady, just the way I think it should be. Um, Yep, Sharon, we just uh, we just said that. I didn't even see your comment, but uh, you probably wouldn't have had to write it. I could have saved you some trouble. <laughs> but um, he's a good dog. 
I actually talked to his foster and, um, and he's doing much better on the leash and, and the video shows that too. Yeah. But lilac is then the cat. Uh, I love that interaction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, LakeFanningsRescueSociety.org. Now, he is available, is that correct? For somebody that's willing to pick up where the foster leaves off, because you, you still continue on, okay? And But it's not, I mean, it's always forever. Training is a way of life, not a, and not an event. So um, once he gets settled in, I mean, he's smart. He's just suspicious of everything. And once he stabilizes with your new home, he's going to be perfect. And LD has set him up to where now he knows what to expect and it's going to go quicker. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she's yeah. been she's very patient and uh, she's done just fabulous work with him and, and other dogs as well. Oh, yeah. There's quite a few there, as you can see through the video. So. Um, right. She's been doing amazing work, and um, and she's actually isn't she the one that actually found him or was contacted uh, initially, or was that GPRS? Uh, that I'm not sure, but okay. uh, doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, doesn't but matter. I know. By the way, uh, thank you for the shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the call went out, and they were the you know everybody um, fell into place, and you know it's a village that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. brings brings these dogs into rescue the hard part's done with him okay yeah. um he's over that hump and now he's just going to be and he likes to stay with his people all right and and i mean now i don't even want to go into this part but the off-leash area you saw in the video is inside a contained area please don't trust your dog off-leash ever a great pyrenees or an akbash or any guardian breed for that matter they hear things. They have to go check it out. So um, uh, it's just dangerous. I mean, it's a crapshoot. But anyway, um, greatparentsrescuesociety.org, um, um, that's where you go. And I, I kind of like what uh, was written on one of the older write-ups. It says, we think it's high time for Maverick to find his wingman or wingwoman. Okay. Um, so wow now maverick's got the burning question and we've got some answers coming up here we're going to everybody put your jackets on all right we're gonna be taking a little ride here real quick and welcome to colorado okay um and here we are so um we have a bonded pair that um <laughs> Yeah, Gypsy and Duchess are their names. And that's not Gypsy and Duchess. Oh, do we get an update on yeah. Bandit and Smokey and Bandit? Uh, you're that. muted, Judy, you're muted. Either that or I brought the wrong one of you up. How about this? I don't know what can I'm Can you doing. hear me? Yeah, now I can. Okay. And we can see my so, so put your phone down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank camera you. Off. There you go. I don't. I don't want to touch anything. <laughs> anyway, okay. I didn't know what was happening, but we got it going now. Now, don't we? Okay. Yeah. I thought I'd. Since we had these guys locked in, I'd do them first. But yeah. Uh, this is this is Smokey. This is Bandit. This is our two little distemper puppies. Uh, as you can see, they're back together again. They got a clean bill of health from the vet. Uh, we just need to put a little bit of weight on them and get them finished vaccinated before we can adopt them out. But they're both doing great. Yeah, wow. And they've tested negative now, huh? Well, they didn't do another test on them. I mean, it's just a matter of time. But Okay. I don't but know they're both to... completely clear of all, all symptoms, finished their meds a couple of days ago. Uh, both doing great. I mean, no respiratory issues, no, no gastro issues. Never did get any signs of neurological problems. So, are they going uh, to have to go together, or has that been decided yet? I think they can probably go apart, but Boy, they I'll they do you, seem I'm pretty bonded. At, I'm looking at something <laughs> different, but that's not been evaluated yet. So, um, no, nah, they're just I mean puppies from the same litter. But I'll tell you what: when we brought Smokey into Bandit's kennel, I these two were overjoyed to see each other. I think they thought that the other one had died or something. Okay. 
Um, all right. So purerescue.org, that's where that's happening now. And hope everybody's got your jacket on because you got plenty of snow for everybody, right, Judy? Yeah. Would you like to see a little pile of snow? We can we can <laughs> pot outside real quick. <laughs> in Colorado, they don't measure snow in inches. <laughs> they measure it in feet. Oh, you can get through the door now? <laughs> Oh, that doesn't look like much snow. It's melting. <laughs> and there it is, Pure Rescue and Sanctuary. Okay, while you're heading towards our girls, I'm going to make a video of the prerequisite to the walkabout. Pay attention. <laughs> Here's Camp Joe. We're going to keep her dogs from going crazy for a second here. And we're going to mute her just for a second. All right. Um, they did, they, they got, oh, we're going to do this out there. And there they are. Gypsy and Gus. Look at that. I didn't realize we were going to be outside. It's a little noisy out here. Yeah. Let's go back in the building. Okay, let's go back in the building. Come on, girls. Anyway, I'm freezing. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of nice. Oh, you say that. But to me, Come on, girls. Cool. Come here. Come on. Gypsy, Duchess, come here. There. Yeah, a little bit noisy there, wasn't it? There you go. Look at them, too. That's the bonded pair. They, um, I don't want to ruin it, but Judy's kind of got her hands full right now. But they're coming. They they do have recall. All right. And um, I've seen it. So. Um, Gypsy, Duchess, come here. Sorry, Judy. I didn't mean to set you up. <laughs> um, but look at that spread at Pure Rescue and Sanctuary. Isn't, isn't that nice? Yeah. And well, yeah, uh, day before yesterday, it had about five foot of snow there instead. They couldn't open the gates. Oh, goodness. And um, uh, it was uh, horrendous. And um, um, and when Judy's ready, she can actually unmute herself. Um, if she mutes, I can't unmute her. But if I mute her, she can unmute. Isn't that okay, I'm unmuted here. All right. So what's the walkabout all about? Well... Uh, Thursday morning we got up, we'd had a horrible storm Wednesday night, and that gate that they're standing by right there, we could not get it open. There was a big drift going through it, and so Michael, in his attempts to get the gate open, ended up pulling the gate right off the hinges. So it was kind of just hanging there halfway. And that's containment, and he, right? Yeah, this is the courtyard area that Michael is showing you right now. Okay. So that's pretty contained within itself, but uh, the dogs are in other yards out there. So he let the dogs out to potty and went into the main barn, which you're looking at the double door there. That's, that's our main barn where we fix everything and all that. Oh, okay. So he was in there fixing food and he happened to look out the window and he saw Moses out in the courtyard and thought, that's not right. And Moses was just wandering around out there in the snow so he gathered Moses up, put him back in the building, and uh, then he realized the Duchess and Gypsy were gone. And that little area, the fence right there that Michael was just looking at, they had somehow pulled the chain link uh, right there away from the wooden post that it was stapled to. Anyway, made just a little pure size hole and... I guess they saw the gate hanging off the hinges and said, hey, this is time for a jailbreak. Let's go. Wow. So they managed to do that and took off. And, of course, you know, we called out the National Guard to hunt them down. So 
I had volunteers out driving in the neighborhood. It was terrible driving, terrible snow. And we looked for them everywhere, could not find them anywhere. Of course, I posted on everything, you know, that I could find, my next door app and all the lost and found sites and oh, contacted the microchip. Oh, yeah, it was like, I mean, I was so worried they'd run out to the highway and get hit. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> Hush, quiet, quiet. Did you just say calm down and they did? I was going to say. Sort of. Uh, I think you need to bottle Seriously? that. Thing. Yes, we have, we have a whole bunch of other ones here. This is Moses. This is Kiwi. This one's uh, Obi. Um, Moses initially going to walk about with him? Yeah, he, uh, he, he took off with them, but then I think he realized that he hadn't had breakfast. <laughs> and what? Michael was serving breakfast, so he came back because he was hungry. Uh, the girls were gone for four hours or so. We had just about given up hope of finding them in the neighborhood. And I don't know, our dog started barking. We looked out the back door and this big field, we've got a 4,600-acre ranch to the south of us. And we could see these two white dogs walking through the snow, coming this direction. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's Duchess and Gypsy. And I yelled at them, and they actually came. And Wow. Yeah, they came home and, I don't know, decided that they were cold and hungry and needed a nap. <laughs> now, that, that actually speaks volumes, doesn't it? They came back home. Yes, they home. did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and they were completely home. had snow cake to them, you know, it was – Caked on their feet and their legs. And and then when you called them, they came. Yeah, I think they were just, I think they realized that there wasn't any food out there in the snow. <laughs> They're not great Pyrenees. <laughs> That's probably the best disguises we've ever seen in our lives. Right. Um, well, to see yep. two Pyrenees in the snow, that in itself, I'm amazed. Maybe just, yeah, just to see you know, little black dots. <laughs> It, it was horrible because it was so white out here. I mean, the entire landscape was white. Oh. And when I first came out to, to start looking for them, I had to go back in the house and get my dark sunglasses because I couldn't see a thing. It was like I have no hope of finding white dogs on a white landscape. <laughs> yeah. Now, we've got some pictures of them, and uh, they were at an event uh, here a while back, last, late last year, right? Yeah, I think that was the Elizabeth Celtic Fest. Yeah, was that the? Yeah, they were there, right? Yeah. Yep. And um, they did well. They present themselves well. Now, are they available for adoption? Oh, absolutely. Uh, the only the only hang up is is they have to go together. Right, and no kids. They are they are very bonded. Am I seeing no kids allowed? Uh <laughs> no, no. In fact, that's that's Gypsy getting wow. hugged. They just need considerate children. Yes. So. And not necessarily dog savvy. Considerate that you have to teach them to do that. It's not their job to get along with the kids. So. Right. I mean, you obviously need kids that aren't going to hit them or hook them in the eye or pull their tails or take their food. My, or. <laughs> yeah, this is my favorite picture. Right. Uh. See why? Um. Now, which one's which there? Is that uh, Gypsy on, I mean, Duchess on the right? Um, Can't tell, can you? Yes. <laughs> Can't really tell. Uh, one of them has, which one is this? One has Freckle. Okay. Duchess is on the right. That's what Duchess is on the right. Wow. Duchess has the bigger white spot on her nose. Okay. But Gypsy has a little brown on her back. And Duchess needs to be on a diet. Duchess is a little chunky. Duchess is getting a little chunky. So, um, how old are they, Judy? Um, they're about three years old. 
We actually got them from a lady out here in Elbert. These two girls had wandered up to her house. They were about 10 months old. Uh, they were groomed. They had nice collars on, but she could not find the owners at all. She advertised everywhere. Nobody claimed them. So she decided she ended up keeping them. So she had them for about a year and a half, and then I guess her husband just retired, and they were moving to some little town in Georgia, and they were going to have a very small house. And she, I guess she had eight dogs. And she said, well, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take eight dogs with us. So she gave up these two. So, they've, you know, as far as I can tell, they've always had a good home. I don't think they have any traumatic past or anything like that. No. So, and they're very nice girls. They really are. And they clean up nice, too. You know what? They're filthy right now. Everybody here is filthy. We've had nothing but one snowstorm after another, and in between, we just have a lot of mud. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. You get so nobody, nobody's gotten groomed at all, like, but in several that, months now. Like, isn't that like winter in Colorado, though? That is winter in Colorado. All right. All so right. we do brush them, but nobody's going to go get a bath until this is over. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Um, now, um uh, PeerRescue.org uh, is where they apply. Is that correct? What yep. kind of so the type of home uh, that they would need? Uh, uh, children are required, right? Young children. Um, <laughs> um, they do okay without children, but I mean, they they're okay with children. What about other dogs and cats? You know, they seem to get along pretty well with other dogs here. Now Moses was a little bit of an alpha guy, and when they first uh, moved in next door to Moses. He decided he was going to show them who bought, who his boss. They kind of tag teamed him <laughs> and said, "No, that ain't happening, Buster." So him. now Moses is not he's he's not pulling the alpha card on him. He gets along with them very nicely now, but he's not trying to be the boss. Don't you love Judy's uh, phrasing? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was Moses in the background saying, that's not how it happened at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is this right here. That's right. This right here is Mose. That's like Moses. I, I saw it as a different story, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I hear rumors that I might get to go out and visit the sanctuary at Peer Rescue out there this summer uh, sometime. I, hear, I heard a rumor. Um, nothing no, absolutely. You, you're coming out here, but we're going to wait till the weather's decent. Well, yeah, I appreciate that because <laughs> you, we get every time you get snow, you send it to me, and uh, that's what's been happening. And um, so you need to stop that crap, by the way. So <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Moses is good. Who else do you have there that's adoptable? Do we uh, since uh, it's yucky outside? Maybe we. Can, well, this uh, is this is Obi. Obi, I see you. Need Obi. Hi, Obi. This is Obi. Where are you, Obs? There's Obi. Wow. He's a good boy, Obi. Oh, he looks like a long-legged boy. He is. He's a big, tall guy. Wow. And then we got... Uh, good looking. We got little Reese over here. Everybody's Reese? in today, I, I guess. And they're being quiet. So here's Reese. Hi, Reese. Reese, oh, Reese. Hey. Uh, don't I know Reese? Reese is the one from North Carolina. Yes, yes. Yeah. He's a stinker sometimes. Yeah, Reese can be like the sweetest boy in the world, but he's a little bit racist. He does not like brown people. Yeah. Uh, in fact, he really hates brown people. <laughs> and I have no idea why. He's speaking volumes. All right. He's not somewhere along the line. He's not lying. Let me out. Right. Let me out. Reese. Here go out, Reese. Yeah, I knew about him. Uh, there, was a, <laughs> there was a nice lady in uh, North Carolina that actually drove him all the way to Peyton, Colorado. Wow. Oh, and now I'm going to I'm going to take you over and show you uh, little Felix. You've had Felix on before. Well, Felix is on the uh, um, the uh, intro video, the countdown timer, and also. Okay, Felix, well, Felix Felix just had surgery number seven two days ago. Yeah, <laughs> wow, for his eyes. So, yes, uh, actually, this is the fourth surgery on his eyes. You, you know, you're and, not making good selling point for him. 
I know. It's horrible. Scoot over. Scoot over, Felix. And Felix, he's living in your house, right? Okay, so if we can get him to hold still here, I'll get a good face. He has. He has new, newly black eyes again. Here. He's a real sweet dog. He's had skin and everything. Yes, he's a he's a. Yeah, so the poor owner shame well. Yes. And his eyes are all shaved. He looks terrible. I'm going to mute you just for a second, Judy. And me and Judy's okay. going to talk about you. And you won't, well, you'll be able to understand. <laughs> anyway, um, now, pay attention to what Judy had said. This was his ninth surgery. All right? But the adoption fee does not go up. Okay? Always remember that. Um uh, so the next time you say, wow, they want a lot of money for those dogs, just remember that one, okay? Um, and that's just one. I mean, uh, just about every rescue I know, you don't just get a dog in and, and send them out the door. There's work to be done, all right? Medical, they're staying neutered a lot of times. Okay? Um, so, man, I noticed that Lilac didn't say a word with all of that noise. Did you yeah, that? she doesn't react. That. <laughs> that was impressive. Yeah, I don't know any rescue that makes money off doing it. It's definitely for the love. It's the love of the dogs of their breed. This is breed specific. So, um, and you're not going to find people that. Uh, no more and treat these dogs better than a rescue. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, I'm going to unmute Judy. So, so don't be bad mouthing us, Judy. Right. Okay. We well, this, this is a key line. <laughs> Who's the loud mouth? <laughs> it's, it's the president's place. No, who's, who is it making all that noise? The, the three presidents boys. All the presidents pop. Okay. Yeah, that's Jefferson, Lincoln, and Roosevelt. All right. <laughs> They've been here forever. Let's meet Those them. Those are the pure mastiff mixes. Yeah, let's let's meet them because they're they're they want to be on the show. There you that's go. That's what they're saying. Look at them, and look at I want to see the black one. And that's the third one. He's a that's third Roosevelt. One. Roosevelt. Yep. Wow. Yep. His mom got around, huh? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> wow. And look at the white with the uh, with the freckles. Well, they're some pretty good looking dogs. So if they really hungry, are. If you got, they're very dogs, feral though. Yeah, but they're very feral like, dogs. Well, that's for the people that need excitement in their life. Right. Well, right. and look at them. Maverick. He was just like that too. So. That's right. Maverick was absolutely, and they're working. Uh, they're working with these dogs. They have the volunteers that go down there, and Becky, Becky and Nancy, Nancy right there. She's one of them, and Becky knows them. Um, it's not that they're sitting there living. They're them. but they yeah. Now, if I if I open the gate to their kennel, they'll all run outside. Okay. Like and this. then we have another walk out. You gonna go? Oops. See? <laughs> yeah, you had to push him out. Okay, here look. That's improvement right there. Right there's big improvement. You little guys. All right. I want to go back and uh, and say uh, hi and close the show with with small. Oh, we're, you're not done yet. Oh, you're not done yet. So who was that? Oh, this is it. this was Akila. I think okay. we're showing you her. We think she's maybe a pure doodle. <laughs> okay. She's very curly. More, more like a marimba. I don't know. Her hair is really curly. Yeah. Okay. Even more curly. Okay. I'd have to see her. I, I have to. I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her. No, oh, right. she's a she's a cute little girl. 
Well, we do want to go back and uh, and close the show with Gypsy and um, and Duchess, obviously. Okay, we'll head and, back over there and Bandit and um, Smokey, obviously. Now, I've been I got a few messages, believe it or not. In the uh, countdown timer, there is that short video promo video of uh, Bixby. Oh yes. Okay, and I've gotten comments on just how, uh, where is he, how adorable he is. He, he's been adopted for quite some time. Oh, yeah, yeah. He got adopted out probably a year ago. Yeah. Um, yeah, he was, a, he was a wolf mix. Yeah. He was Husky, Wolf, and Pyrenees. Yeah, hmm. and that's why I wanted to bring it up, too, because Sydney happens to have one of those, too. Um, yeah, he was a nice boy. I mean, really good looking. Yeah. But don't just don't upset him. Just don't piss him no. off. No. All right. Um, <laughs> pretty much. That's yeah, it he, right there. he was a good dog. He, he had his quirks. He, he was a New Yorker. Yeah. Yeah. He came um, with that Eastern attitude. <laughs> but he's uh, in his home and he's living the high life. Isn't that right, Judy? Yeah, he's doing well. Yeah. And he was uh, a little bit of a handful when she got him. Is that, uh, who is, oh, that Duchess? Gypsy. Gypsy. Okay. All right. I, I was just fixing to say I was asking the wrong person. Only Michael knows who they are. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any questions, Julie, for uh, Judy uh, with the walkabout twins? No, they're awfully, they're really cute, you know, and it's nice that uh, the two female peers get along so well. And, uh, you know, I, I think they're going to get a great adoptable home. Yeah. Yeah, they, they eat together, they sleep together. I've never seen them get snarky with each other, ever. Sharon wants you to know that it's uh, balmy 75 degrees where she's at. Yeah. That, that's a high in the summertime for us. <laughs> yeah. That's actually inviting when she's down there at 110, right? <laughs> Um, and I and I missed her pre I missed her comment. She was wishing the pups happy President's Day. Yeah. Oh and yeah. I missed her comment. Um, I'll I'll, I'm, I'll get on. I'll stay on the stick, Sharon. I'm I'm sorry. All right. I don't want to get fired. Um, uh, wow. Look. Gypsy at her. looks really relaxed and uh, enjoying her screen time there. Oh yeah. yeah. Jenny. <laughs> oh. She's is that, is that Moses over there? Um, yep, I guess so. Now they, uh, hey, Mose. They're mellow dogs. I mean, they're okay. not, uh, oh, you get them out playing, you're going right. to see them um, hyper and playing. But now who's that, Moses? Yep, that's Moses. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, so we got to have him on. He's yeah. been here for a while. He needs to get adopted. Yeah. Okay. He's one of those really sweet guys that really doesn't have any issues. All right. Well, maybe we can get Nancy and Becky and you maybe and Michael. Well, you and Michael don't do as much in pictures, but maybe we can get some pictures and video. Maybe we can put it together and get him on the show and feature him. Right. Yeah. Most came to us from Albuquerque, and oh. uh, he was an owner surrender. I guess he was. Oh, hey, uh, mom, this is Moses. Yeah. Yeah, his mom is sending him the high-dollar dog food. Yeah, he's on canine caviar, and if you look at his bed, this is a genuine sheepskin. Wow. Yeah, the 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 parents that surrendered her continues to support him, right, Judy? Oh, yeah, yeah. In fact, she sent us another sheepskin, because I, I called her and asked her how I'm supposed to wash this thing, and she said, I don't think you can wash them without destroying them. I'll just send you a new one. <laughs> so, um... And she's in the entertainment industry, if I remember right. And um, she had actually worked with Roman with Moses and uh, um, really wasn't not anything really wrong with Moses. <laughs> no. Uh, no. No, and, and Roman's the one who suggested that she put him on canine caviar. It's an alkaline and, food. Yeah, so when, uh, when she brought him, I said, I don't think we can afford to keep feeding him canine caviar. And she said... Oh, don't worry. I'll just put you on auto ship. So about every three or four weeks, we get a new bag of canine caviar just for Moses. So, Julie, how many times has that happened to Chief PRS? Uh, not enough, I would say. Yeah. You know. <laughs> um, not enough. Um, the, the, it's so, so rare for this to happen. Right. right? 
Well, I um, do have some good news, though. Um, okay. One of our, uh, I don't know if you saw the um, puppy that was uh, covered in thousands of fleas that was yes. recently. Um, one of my, uh, one of our doctors that I helped um I, I was her screener and we she found a wonderful dog in with GPRS reached out to me and uh she's gonna foster that puppy. She All said, right. I All fell right. in love with in him bad she, shape. All yeah, right. yeah. Wow. Well she works for a veterinarian, so she's like, you know, I uh I fell in love with him. I uh, you know, I can I've got the means to help. Yeah. You know, just like uh, how this lady does, and uh, for Moses, and uh, she's going to foster him. Wow, right? that's awesome! Yeah, and that's, um, it's now nice Judy when those things work out, right? Now Judy, some of Judy's dogs uh, aren't uh, the easiest dogs in the world, but she has a foster that works with behavior dogs. Um, right. They had King; he's been adopted. Who's uh, Aussie uh, mixes uh, Judy that um, are thriving now? Nero. Do you remember Nero? Nero. Nero. Yes, they're just doing amazing. And who is this one? Oh, uh, right now on my camera. Yeah. Uh, this one's Duchess. Oh, that's Duchess. Oh, yep. They look like sisters. That's Gypsy. <laughs> <laughs> I they do, that. don't they? <laughs> we heard that. <laughs> All right, Mom. <laughs> um, you should be able to tell them apart when you get them in your house. She has 16 dogs, I think. Is a, I don't know the number. But you have a lot of dogs there. And, um, yeah. Um, but Moses was, uh, he's a good looking boy. Uh, he is. Who, yeah. Who was the long legged one again? Was that Moses? Obi. 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 I want to see Obi, Obi. before we go. Yeah, Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> there he is. Wow. And what's his temperament like? What kind of home does he need? Um, he's he can be a little snarkier. He's, he's very he's territorial Akbosh. about yeah. his people and his place. He, he's got Akbosh, doesn't he? I probably. I don't know. Uh, he doesn't really have the whip tail, but he's got some okay. long legs. Well, it's hard to say. He's just tall, great Pyrenees. How about that? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Wow. So he'd need a tall fence, wouldn't he? Um, you know, I've never seen it. He's not a jumper. He looks so. Slim. I don't know that. Yeah, he's pretty mellow, but he he is kind of a uh, probably a one one dog home. Oh, so he's got an attitude. He's got an attitude. Him and Reese will play outside together all day long, every day. But when Reese comes running into Obi's kennel, Sorry, Obi Judy. gets all kinds of upset about it. I saw some belly rubs that was getting intense. Sorry, Judy. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I know you understand. All right. <laughs> Lilac's was, taking it all in. She was yeah. really getting into that now. <laughs> see, see why we try to keep you all up, Anna? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's better than you being in the back room and me popping you up because I saw something cute. And I wanted everybody to get it. So, um, and uh, she actually... Like, React to Julie's voice. She recognized Julie. What? Um, I know. <laughs> Nancy I was giving her Dobie, yesterday. He knows how to sit, shake, lay down, and loves his belly rubs too. There you go. Yeah. How much does Obi weigh? Um, I would say he's probably. What do you think, Michael? About ninety, hundred. Around hundred. Probably around a hundred. So you don't have a walk-on scale uh, at your facility, do you? No. Did you hear that, everybody? Nope. Um, you guys need to put it together. They should have a walk-on scale. All right. They're not that expensive. It would be nice. They're only about, <laughs> you can get them used for about three, four hundred dollars. You can get new ones for as low as six hundred, just so you know. All right. Oh wow. And there's a lot of used ones okay. out there because of the digitizing now. All right. Yeah, well, and, that's on my on my wish list. All right. Well, let's we'll see the puppies and we'll let you go back to Back to your knitting, if you whatever it is you do when you're snowed in. Yeah, <laughs> great news about the puppies. Just great that is news. great news. Oh, oh, I got I got news here. If uh, if we can be on next week, we yep. should have three new puppies. Uh, came from the same shelter as these guys. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> well, Tony pulled them out as soon as they got in because she didn't want them to get sick. So well, there's no sense. Uh, no, yeah. Oh, those are these are little puppies, born January 10th. 
Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. Hey, oh, did they wow. ever find his brother, Judy? The brother to the these two to to these two? No. Oh. No, but there's an interesting story. There there were three puppies and a, a adult male running around together. So they got these two guys and the adult male. The adult male needed two FHOs done, two full hip replacements. Yeah. And so of course the shelter wasn't going to pay for that. And they were going to put him down. And then this nice lady in Dodge City said Oh, no, no, no. If I fundraise and come up with the money, will you let him live? And they said, yeah, if you want to pay for the hip surgery, by all means, he can live. So the adult so dog she's, is gone. Yeah, so she's, she's been fundraising for several weeks now. And she's got almost all the money she needs to, to do his hip surgeries. And then last week they tested him. And because he was with these guys, um, he tested positive for distemper. Ain't that something? So mm -hmm. the shelter then again said, oh, we have to put him down. And she said, oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to bring him home. So they said, are you sure? And she said, yeah, my dogs are vaccinated. He was totally asymptomatic. He had no symptoms at all. But he did test positive for distemper. Wow. So this lady went ahead and took him home. So I don't know whether he's the daddy to these guys or... You know, there's some hobo they picked up on the trail. I don't know, but but anyway, he was found with the with these puppies. The other puppy, I kind of suspect he's probably dead. Uh huh. Yeah. So. Can you see the screen? We're gonna we're gonna brighten this one up a little bit. We've got two puppies in two different states, uh, acting very similar. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Almost look like Pretty. they could be related. I Pretty think. laid back. Right. <laughs> you like your tummy rub? Okay. How do you Why not like puppies? Anna, so she won't <laughs> uh, Rena said that's an amazing story, Judy. And yeah. it, the stories do happen. Um, and um, they're, they're out there. And, and sometimes they need to be told. Because right. these dogs, for some reason, it seems like if there's a choice, if some if somebody's got to go, why is it always got to be the Great Pyrenees? You know, he's the one that eats the most. I don't know. <laughs> Either that, or it just seems that way because of the breed specific rescue. Right? But um, um, because a lot of times, a lot of dogs I work with uh, on behavior, well, I'm, there's quite a few of them. There's really nothing wrong with the dog. Right? No, it's because people just don't understand this breed. Yeah. And uh, I mean, there's no, there's not outside of any of the breed traits. The dog's never bit anybody. The dog is, you know, we're missing the needs is what it is. We're missing the needs. Yeah. So. Well, and I think, uh, you know, I think at least in our breed, peers have gotten very, very popular in the last several years. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, for pets and everybody's getting one, even if they, uh, even if they don't really qualify to own one, <laughs> they yeah. get one because they're big, they're beautiful, they're sweet, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But then they live in an apartment or townhome or condo or, or they don't understand that these things bark or, you know, can be very protective. Yep. And the second that this dog even so much as lifts a lip at one of the kids in the house, I get a phone call saying, oh, my God, I have to get rid of my dog. He's being aggressive. <laughs> yeah. All right, um, uh, Judy left for a second. Uh, she's right here. We don't we don't have your audio anymore because Mike got knocked. Michael got knocked out. Hmm. So, um, oh wait a minute, let's try this. Try that, Judy. Oh, I can't unmute you. Michael has it muted, or you have it muted. Sure it aggressive. Okay, you're. I think you're back. You no, that's not aggressive. <laughs> yeah. If you want to be okay. aggressive, they'd rip your face off, but. Okay. Well, we got her. We got her audio a little bit. My, Michael's phone dropped out. That's why we can't hardly hear you. So anyway, um, it's time to close the show up anyway. And um, um, but always remember that it doesn't matter what you read. This breed's not for everybody. Okay. And um, and I actually had somebody uh, tell me that. Um, a vet or a trainer or something don't listen to those rescues they don't know what they're talking about make no mistake nobody knows this breed better than the breed specific rescues okay 
and collectively with joint forces, there's no one can hold a candle to the rescue. All right. And um, so if a vet says, wow, that rescue is wrong. Okay. How many fears has he handled? Okay. I, I mean, I don't know how to put it. So, um, but they don't all do that. And it's getting better. I bring that up because a, 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 a not even a study, a survey surfaced uh, recently that uh, tested uh, 1,800 or 18,000 dogs and breed traits that are irrelevant to the behavior of the dog. It was a survey, okay, not a study, all right, and it's so flawed, even the trainers that I know uh, slam it, uh, so if you happen to run across that, it's good reading, but always read it with a grain of salt, all right, everything. And that's so, why it's um, important to always research the breed that you're yeah. interested in before you uh look to adopting. I know a few times, you know, we always hand out information um, prior to them mm -hmm. even starting the process. And then I've had a few people say, mm, maybe that's not what I was expecting. And then, you know, it's like, well, you know, yeah. that, that's you good have, that you recognize that. Yeah. If you have a problem, reach out. Yeah. When you reach out to, reach out to a rescue. They'll point you in the right direction if they can't help. All right. There's, there's help out there. You don't have to give your dog up. You really don't. Right. There's all kind of help. All right. right. Um, and look at Lilac and look at Smokey. Holy crow. <laughs> I think they're. I think they. They're sisters from a different litter, a different mother, maybe. <laughs> Look at them go. I know. I think so, you can uh, count them. Put snugglers on their bio. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. must give belly rubs. That's right. Yeah. Part of the criteria for adopting. Yeah. Anna, thank you for coming on, bringing lilac and and, and blessing our worlds like that. Uh, and Judy, you, you got amazing stuff going on, and and, uh, and thank you for letting us uh, have fun with the walkabouts in the snow and your your suffering sometimes. Right? <laughs> Michael, mostly. Right? Um, Michael wasn't much fun for us. <laughs> yeah, Michael's the one who had to go out and fix that fence and uh, and the gate and oh, get and fix the heater, and fix the tractor. Yeah, yeah. You gotta remember, there's they're, uh, they're the sole proprietors of the uh, rescue, and uh, that means when there's five foot of snow in a driveway, it has to be shoveled and plowed, and 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 the dogs have to be tended to. It's a lot of work. Okay, I mean, people don't realize the amount of work that goes into facilities based, like pre rescue and sanctuary in Colorado, the GPRS headquarters. Um, it's a lot of work and they need help. Right? They need a hand. Can't do it all alone. So, um, anyway, enough of that. Um, we don't try to guilt trip anybody into doing anything. Well, yeah, we do. Forget that. I, I didn't <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, it sounds like Judy will be back again next week. Now, Sydney will be here next week, right, uh, Julie? Right. Sydney. Oh, uh, do you still, do you still have Velma? Still have Velma. She showed up yesterday. She was uh, excited to see everybody and was quite puppy playful. So uh, I think it was a little more than they were expecting. Okay. All right. So, uh, but the, but she was at that meet and greet, right? She did. And she did very well. I was awesome. proud of her and uh, she's a very cute dog. And actually, uh, Steven? we even had somebody interested in her um, that met her, but uh, didn't qualify for her. So okay. you just never know from just yeah. being there yesterday. They met her and fell in love with her, but right. they, they didn't qualify for a, a yeah. puppy. And always remember, everybody, just because you don't qualify, that's nothing personal at all. Right. All right. You kind of got to pry these dogs out of rescues, cold, dead hands. All right. That's because they just need what's best for the dog because they know where they came from. You right. may not. Right. Okay. Yeah, and we just push them in a or help them in a different direction there. So, you yep. know, there's other potential dogs that right. might work. The old life didn't work out, so we got to give a new type of life. Right. right. Oh, right. look at that. Boy, look at uh, boy, I just oh, can't get enough here. Off. We're on overtime because I'm slobbering at the dogs here. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, look at it right in the camera. And look at Lilac. She's just getting a little antsy, though, isn't she? <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, everybody. We're going to get out of here before everybody starts fleeing. We actually gained viewers here. Uh, <laughs> you did. Well, they're so cute, of course. They oh, are. Um, Word and, on the uh, we, uh, now, GPRS, now I'm going to go out on a limb here. GPRS has some puppies that we got to get on, okay? And they're all at the same home right now. All right. And um, we got to get those puppies on, and because um, um, I'm, I'm just watching what's going on over here in Colorado now. We're working on it. That's a show in itself, right there. Oh my! Yeah, that's there's it. That Duchess. Be... Oh, there's Duchess. Look at that. You see, you see her and Lilac look like um, twins too, don't they? Only a little older. Right. Duchess it's is her aunt. Smart. It could be her aunt, the Aunt Duchess. Yeah, yeah. Duke right. and Duchess. I mean, Duke and Duchess. Uh, Gypsy and Duchess, they, they just, they're easier than one dog, uh, you know, getting two of them, all right? Because they're so tightly bonded. They, they, uh, they're they just so, they do so well together. So that way you don't have to worry about getting another dog somewhere else. So, all right. Let's try it again. We just got to move here. We're going to get out of here. We're in trouble. All right, everybody. Judy, we'll see you next week. Uh, but we're going to okay. try to get some more puppies on it. And then a good number of them at the same foster home. If nothing else, we would have a circus, right? right. Puppy right, next everybody. week will be Puppy Palooza. That's right. Puppy Palooza. All right. I think I even read that. So. Yep. Bye, everybody. See you next Bye. week.